So here we are, just heading out into the woods for uh, tonight's wild camp. So the location of this woods is in Buckingham, Bedford, Buckinghamshire. Buckinghamshire, gonna keep it there, keep it a secret. Um, it is part of a managed woods, but this part doesn't really get much work done to it. It's been left quite, quite wild. A um, few dog walkers on the outskirts on some of the paths, but as we get deeper into the woods, um, it's, it's pretty quiet, there's no one around. Time is about half past six, um, so I've got about a two kilometre walk into the woods and then I'll sit down, set up the bivvy, um, no, set up the hammock uh, tonight, um, probably just before sunset. I'll do the tarp first and then I can uh, do the biv do the uh, hammock once uh, once it's all up and running. So I'll come back to you when I get to the location. So I'm about 20 minutes in up one of the big hills here and I thought I'd just bring you back onto this. So just behind me we have the views um, of the uh, the fields where I am and it's absolutely stunning so that gets the sunrise in the morning now if I flip the camera around just a little bit I'll take a little bit of footage um, and I'm going to show you a really awesome place to camp but unfortunately I ain't brave enough for it I'm going to show you So that little bit there, um, it's nice and flat, perfect for maybe a, ham a hooped bivvy or a small tent or something like that. And I guess if you came up here again at uh, sunset, just before sunset, you can get yourself set up. You'll get the most amazing views across the field first thing in the morning. It's really, really stunning. Um, yeah, so still got a bit of a walk, so I'll talk to you soon. Okay, here we are. So we are in the woods. It's uh, 7 p.m. So we've got about an hour of daylight before the sun starts to go down. There is a slight sunset just behind me. Let's see if I can point it out. Kind of up here somewhere. Um, so there's a little lake just around the side of me here. Uh, it's just up here. A little pond. So I'm going to be putting my hammock between this tree here and this tree here and then it's going to be going across this area here so first things i need to do is clear the area off anything and also check above it's a bit of an open spot there's nothing above me here um there's a lot of dead fall in the area but there's nothing above me which is uh which is nice and even if there is a storm tonight there's very little up there thanks as well it's quite bad and lots of small twigs but nothing that should really cause many issues all right so I'm going to get cleaned up, I'm going to set up, and then I'll come back to you. Alright, so it's just coming up to about 20 past uh, 7, so we've got about 30 minutes of daylight. So I've got the um, tarp up, it's a big tarp, uh, got it on, it's a Chinese branded product, um, get it on Amazon, Alibaba, etc, etc, it's a few quid. Um, it's really quite big, probably bigger than I need, um, but it is also big enough that I can stand up in now, so it's quite high. It's got a silver lining underneath as well, so that will help to keep some of the heat in. Uh, so now I'm going to start with my hammock, and I'll bring you back in to show you that. All right, so we've got about 15 minutes of sunlight remaining. It's getting quite dark out there now. So I thought I'd just quickly go through my setup uh, of what I'm going to use tonight. So I've got a really simple jungle hammock with uh, a net, uh, mesh, and then I've put a couple of sticks in between the mesh, uh, one over end, just to keep it up nice and high, to keep it off my face. And then alongside that I've got a, uh, a um, quilted under blanket. Again, it's uh, everything here is um, available via um, Alibaba, Amazon, etc. Uh, the tarp, the hammock, the, the under blanket. The only thing I've sort of spent money on, if, if it's, you know, you want to say that, is uh, a uh, British Army Sleeping bag, it's the Arctic edition, the, the uh, dive bomber. 
No, it's not right, is it? Bouncing bomb, bouncing bomb. Um, anyway, so I've got that, the um, slim bag. I've had that for many, many years and it's been awesome. I'm using tree straps for, uh, to protect the trees there and all my rope, I'll be making sure I take that home with me as well. All the cordage I get online, I get it again, Amazon and whatnot. So literally everything you see, the whole setup, I will take a picture from uh, uh, outside so you can see the setup as well. I'm really happy with it. I've used it a few times. Uh, this is the second time I've used it here on my own. Uh, the weather is not too cold at the moment, but it's going to get cold this evening. Um, so let me take a quick picture and I'll stick that up and then I'll come back to you in a bit. So along with the um, army sleeping bag, I also have a decathlon uh, pillow, inflatable pillow. It comes in a fleecy liner, which is really nice. And I also use a very quite, very quite, a quite a heavy fleecy inner liner as well. Got again, got that online. It's quite dense fleece. Uh, you know, really, really will keep you warm. So I've got the under blanket, I've got the military sleeping bag, I've got the fleecy liner, and my tarp is silver lined, silver foil lined, if you like. Um, and I'll be also be wearing my, um, I've got some like long johns that I'll be wearing in it and the top. So. Warmth wise I should be absolutely fine tonight. I've never had a problem heat wise. Um, got a woolly hat obviously and a buff and bits and bobs to keep my face warm as well. So hopefully I'll be able to report back tomorrow telling you it was nice and warm. So now the beds all made up, the accommodations all made up, I'm going to start prepping for my fire. There's lots and lots of wood, so I don't really have to worry about it. There's loads of that. I did bring some kindling as well to get things started. So I just need to clear an area for my fire. And I've got a Chinese firebox, which I want to show you before the light goes out as well. So let me get started with that. And I will show you that as well. One more look, look at my setup. Not bad. Not bad at all. And they say it's deadly, deadly quiet here. Uh, this particular spot I'm at, I haven't used. I, I've normally stayed the other side of the little uh, pond that's over here. This area, I think, is a bit more suitable. It's a bit more cover. There's a path 100 meters that way. There's a road. Four, maybe 500 meters that way there's a farm this way and then there is another farm and a quarry over that way but I can't see anything in between the trees which means that no one can see me all right let me do um, let me check me prep me fire and I'll come back okay so I'm all ready now I've got lots of firewood uh, ready to go plenty over there uh, just to get me uh, I'm only having a fire for like a, probably an hour, if that. Um, I've got a firebox, Chinese firebox. You've seen these on the internet. There's lots of different reviews of those. So I've got myself one of those. And I've got one of these little tables as well uh, to put me cup and one on, my cup of tea. Now I've got a fire uh, screen here, just really to, I don't know, maybe I'm convinced it'll help the uh, light not be passed around. I'm not convinced. Maybe it throws some heat back my way. And also, I've got a chair down here that I'm going to be using, which is from Decathlon. It's Decathlon's lightweight chair. And I'm using a little uh, kneeling pad there to keep me bum warm. The problem with these chairs is that they have a tendency to dig in the ground. Um, so, for dinner tonight, I've got I've got some bacon. I'm going to cook up a bit of bacon. And I've got some bread that I've already put some mayo on and some tomato sauce. Um, inspired by another YouTuber, I can't think of his name. You all know who he is, did a hammock camp recently. Cool guy, a bit of a beard. So he's inspired me to prep my bread. Thanks, mate. I'll think of your name and stick your link. And I've also got a couple of beers. Now, uh, I don't drink um, alcohol, so I've uh, got some of these non-alcoholic IPAs from Tesco's. It's called Beaver Town. I think that's what it's called. It is Beaver Town, but it wouldn't be a wild camp without some sort of beverage, so uh, and Coca-Cola just doesn't cut it. So yeah, that's what I'm be consuming later, and I've got some hot chocolate, obviously, before sleep time. So uh, the sun is kind of almost gone now. A little bit of a sunset just over here. Um, and obviously as the sun goes down, it does get a little bit darker. So I'm gonna give it another maybe 30 minutes, 20 or 30 minutes before I start the fire, and then I'll bring you back in for that. Ooh later nothing like a nice fire is there in the in the woods um, it's got a little Chinese box the same a little Chinese cooking box there it's absolutely wonderful um, 
there's loads of reviews you can go and check them out um, got a little head torch there for when it gets dark or for when I get scared so some of the other bits of kit I like to use um, are so the Chinese box you've seen I use one of the um, Mora knives uh, as a friend of mine purchased that for me it's uh, the Mora I uh, have no idea the name, but what we did is we've wrapped them, we've both got one, we've wrapped them up with a uh, power cord, but we've got extra power cord there. And the plastic lock isn't the greatest, that sort of keeps it in place, so I use a, a little bit of elastic as well. So when I'm not using it, or if I'm going on my belt, I've got this little bit of elastic, and I can pull that tight, and there's a little toggle on the end as well. Because as I say, the, um, the plastic itself is a little bit, it gets a bit weak after a while, and the knife has a tendency to move around. Um, what else have we got? So, my cup is from Lixada, and I also have an alcohol stove in here as well, which I'll get out a bit later. I don't like to put my stove, my cup on the fire, it gets black, it gets a bit annoying after a while, I keep washing it. So, I'll use the alcohol stove, plus, I like to travel with that. It's a bit easier to travel with than gas sometimes, because you can travel with it empty on a plane or, or, or whatever. Um, and then I can just buy the fuel when I need it. So I'm going to let this fire sort of get nice and hot, and I'm going to let it cool down a bit, and I'll come back to you, and we'll make a bacon sandwich tonight. Awesome. to nine o'clock and the deer are already barking they are noisy if you've never heard a deer bark before it's quite a scary sound uh, so I can imagine it's going to be like this all night I do have some earplugs in my bag and it's a weird noise but you kind of get used to it I think after a while the moon's out it's going to be a bright moon I think I just had my bacon sandwich, so I didn't video it, but it's a bacon sandwich and it was really tasty cooked on the fire. I really enjoyed that. Um, just going to drink my other tin of beer. Let's see if I can see the fire for a little bit. I'll bring you back in a minute. Alright. It's proper dark. This is when a lot of people start getting scared, me included, you know. I think some of the fears are that you're going to get caught. No one's coming this time of night, are they, let's be fair. And if they do, you're going to see them before they see you, because you'll see a torch, because you can't walk in the dark. They're going to see your fire, but you're also going to see their torch. If you don't have a fire. Good morning, good morning. Sun is up, 6 a.m. And time to break camp. Had a lovely sleep. There's a little hammock in the background. Really, really nice sleep. There's not a lot of noise. There was a full moon, which made it really light. I could have pulled the sides of the tent, the hammock down, uh, top down, but I chose not to. It's nice to look out, isn't it? You're having yourself a little brew. Got me alcohol stove on. Um, and yeah, get myself a little brew and clean up. And as always, leave no trace. All right, that was wonderful. So if you're thinking about getting out in your woods there, just do it, just get your stuff out, just do it. That was my second uh, solo wild camp and I really enjoyed that and I'll be doing another one really soon. Awesome, thanks. See you later.